Hi, this is Scott from ChemTalk, chemistrytalk.org, and today I'm going to show you an, some amazing colors between cobalt sulfate and sodium molybdate. It's going to form a beautiful precipitate, and this really shows why chemistry can be so fun and amazing, especially when you're using transition metal compounds and forming beautifully colored precipitates. So here is some sodium molybdate dihydride, dihydrate. It's a compound um, with sodium and molybdenum in it. It's um, quite soluble in water and it's, it's really a great compound for, for reactions. And here is some cobalt to sulfate and it's a, a really nice pinkish red compound. The nice thing about cobalt is that it forms complexes with water that can be blue or red depending on the pH of the solution. So I'm going to move these out of the way. And I did the pleasure of pre-mixing some solutions. So in this clear container, I mixed four and a half grams of sodium molybdate with 20 milliliters of water. And here we have 3.5 grams of cobalt sulfate with 40 milliliters of water. We're gonna mix them and I'm gonna show you what happens. So first, we're going to pour this into the test tube. And move that container aside and you can see that it's a really nice red color and now I'm gonna pour the sodium molybdate in there and you're gonna see a double displacement reaction there we go look at that it's so beautiful it's forming this really, really nice purple precipitate. You move this out of the way. And we are going to give it a minute and I'm going to see if this settles because if this settles, we're gonna see two really, really beautiful colors of this solution. So the precipitate you see is a compound called cobalt molybdate, and it's COMOO4. It's insoluble in water, which is why it came out of solution, and what's remaining is sodium sulfate. Uh, I'm gonna let this settle for a little bit, and um, we'll see if we can see the two amazing colors that um, result. We'll come back in a little bit. So while we're waiting for the precipitate to settle, I'm just going to show you some of the dried out cobalt molybdate that I had made before. And you can see it's a beautiful purple solid. It, it dries out really nicely. And the great thing is um, you could add this to your compound collection and we're gonna find a way to reuse this in later experiments. Okay, so the precipitate settled out really, really nicely. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. I actually had to transfer this into a, a separate container and swish it around for a minute to break the suspension. And as soon as I did that, the purple precipitate settled um, to the bottom two thirds of the container. And there's still some cobalt sulfate in solution, which is why you see the reddish color at the top. So right now we're looking at two different cobalt compounds with two different colors and it's um, it's really amazing. So this is uh, this is why doing transition metal chemistry is is so great. We're going to filter this later. We're going to add this to our element collection, and um, you know, 
students, teachers, scientists, everyone will really enjoy seeing, um, seeing some beautiful chemistry like this. So hope you liked the video. Please uh, hit the like and the subscribe button. Leave a comment uh, in terms of what your favorite kind of chemistry or compounds are to see. And uh, this is Scott from ChemTalk, and we will see you soon. Thanks.